Hi everyone, Richard Carlton here with a brain dump for you on FM starting point 4.5, which is the version that's specific to the FileMaker 14 platform. Now we've actually been working on this release for a couple months, getting it ready for everyone, and I want to kind of run through the features and upgrades that we've implemented in this new version of FM starting point. Now along the way I'm going to point out some of the new features that we've rolled into FM starting point, but I'm not going to get really deep into explaining how they work because all that information has already been shot on video and it's waiting for you in our FileMaker Pro 14 video training course, which is available for the amazing low price of $49.99 unless you already own our Pro 13 video course and then it's available for half off. That's a 50% discount. So we're going to kind of jet through this demo real quick uh, to show you what we got going with the new version of Starting Point 4.5. Up front, I need to point out the starting point 4.5 will not look very good if you try to run it in older versions of the FileMaker platform. Specifically, we've set FM starting point here to work only on FileMaker 14. Now, it's set for 13 here because we were testing to see how bad it would look, and it doesn't look overly great. But if you go in here and you hack this and override it, allowing you to open it in 12 or 13, it's going to misbehave to some degree in 13 and it's really going to misbehave in 12 uh, because we're using all these new capabilities in the FileMaker platform. So first off I've got John Hogle here who's been working on this quite a bit and we're interrogating him to find out what he did with starting point. Now I gave him some outlines of what we wanted to do and I've been doing some QA checking and reviewing it but at the end of the day sometimes the engineers go a little bit wild. So I've got him in here and we're doing an enhanced interrogation on him to find out really what's under the hood. So say hi John. Hello everyone. John's one of our college students and John definitely needs a girlfriend. So if you're eligible and you want a hundred bucks feel free to contact us at support at RC Consulting so we can get him a date. Now moving along the first thing we've done is we've updated some of the layouts for FileMaker 14. It's important to cover these real quick. And this is important for the new people who are learning about FM Starting Point, that there are actually different sets of layouts for the desktop, which is our Mac and Windows uh, users using Pro. Now, if you're using an iPad with Go, you have a completely different set of layouts, but they're almost identical in nature. They've just been tuned for the iPad interface. So these are really the two most commonly used sets of layouts right here. Now, down below is WebDirect full-size layouts, and full size meaning anything that's a Android tablet or larger. So if you're using a Mac with a browser or Windows with a browser or an Android tablet, FileMaker WebDirect is automatically going to direct the user to these sets of layouts. And of course I can bring these up here real quick and you can see that once again that looks amazingly similar to where we just were. I'm going to jump back to the desktop interface here and point out a couple things that we went through the WebDirect full-size layouts with a fine-tooth comb to tune these and make them work really well on a modern Android tablet. These layouts were already in the system but they were optimized for WebDirect 13 and WebDirect 14 is really completely rebuilt it's highly optimized it's much better much faster that it doesn't have much in common with the old one at least from a programming under the hood standpoint if you were a FileMaker programmer and you worked at FileMaker, I mean they're really different. From your perspective, you're just going to notice that it's way more awesome because it's fast and it works pretty well. But because of the changes that went on with the new WebDirect, we decided to go through every layout and optimize them. So every layout here has been gone through by hand and reviewed and massaged. So everything here has been realigned, rechecked to make sure it's going to work well on an Android tablet. In fact, we were checking this, I believe, on a Toshiba or Samsung. Samsung, Samsung tablet's a bigger Samsung tablet. Um, I know that one's running around at our Fairfield office. So understand that these layouts have all been tuned. Something else to point out is that most of the buttons in the software have been optimized using FileMaker's new integrated button icon architecture. I'll go ahead and jump to layout mode here and I'll click on this button if you remember how previous versions of starting point work, there was a button and then there was a separate image that was placed on top here. Well this is now one integrated item. It's not a grouped object, it's one integrated item. If I double click it, it brings up this new interface which shows you the artwork that you can put on FM starting point. 
the artwork that can be utilized currently within this FileMaker file. So all these little icons are either SVGs or PNGs. That's the only two file formats that are acceptable. And if you're looking at a default database, a brand new database in FileMaker 14, you're only going to see the icons from about here down because these are all the black and white icons that come with FileMaker 14. These color ones up here at the top are the icons that we legally licensed for use with FM Starting Point and we actually inserted them in here by pressing the plus button and then we could identify a new icon to drop in. So that's how this works. So a lot of the buttons here and on the WebDirect screens have been optimized. Additionally, across the top of most of all the interfaces, not so much on the iPhone or Android phone interface, but on all the other full screen interfaces, this up here is now a FileMaker button bar. That's a new object that's part of the 14 platform that doesn't exist in earlier versions of FileMaker. So this button right here allows you to draw a brand new multi-segment button. And you can specify the buttons, do different things. And what's cool about it is that as you um, resize the layouts, the buttons will automatically expand and scale. Now in starting point, I don't think we've set these buttons up to expand and widen out, but the button bar will do that and it's really slick to see it in action. So if you want to learn more about the button bar or the icons in the buttons, go check out our FileMaker Pro 14 video course that's available now at learningfilemaker.com. Moving along, we've actually completely recreated a brand new set of WebDirect phone layouts that also work great on the iPhone with FileMaker Go. So to say that again, these layouts right here, and this is layout mode on desktop, I snap my finger, I can show you what this looks like on uh, Samsung. Here's the Samsung phone rendering this layout. Looks great, it operates great, but this layout will also load if you access FM Starting Point with an iPhone and FileMaker Go. So these layouts are doing double duty. They're Go layouts and they're WebDirect layouts. And because WebDirect behaves so well in FileMaker 14, we're actually able to use the layouts for both types of clients, which is pretty cool. I think in the future, we might be able to even consolidate other layouts here, uh, potentially the iPad layouts and the WebDirect full-size layouts. Those potentially could be consolidated. It's hard to consolidate it with desktop because really the desktop interface is highly optimized really for a mouse and a keyboard and not for a finger with touch. So that's really the differences here. Now, keep in mind also that these WebDirect full-size layouts here are not optimized for mouse and keyboard. We really built these with the anticipation that you would use the WebDirect full-size layouts with Android tablets or potentially even a Chromebook. And we talk about that in some of our other videos as well at learningfilemaker.com. So the phone layouts are completely brand new and the WebDirect full-size layouts have been completely modernized, reviewed, and updated. Now one last area that we probably should talk about is an area where we've added some new functionality into FM Starting Point. And the functionality is inspired by Nicholas Hunter at FileMaker, who I sat down and I've talked with at great length about the Project's Star Solution. This is the Project Star Solution that we have. And this capability of managing a project and being able to edit and select a status level of a project, whether it's on time or normal or at risk, and then adjusting the percent completion real easily, this was really inspired. In fact, we did a number of videos about this in our Pro 14 training course about how this button bar is being used as an input style. That's an entire video right there in our Pro 14 course. So we took that, and we actually took the colors and everything that's being used here, and we incorporate that into the to-do system that's part of FM Starting Point. So if I go to Projects, and I select to-dos, this system right here is almost identical to the system that's part of the Project Starter Solution. Now we tried to frankly make it more simple than the Project Starter Solution because the Project Starter Solution is pretty complex and deep in terms of some of the sleight of hand and magical tricks that go on. And once again, Nicholas Hunter is an amazing magician when it comes to doing cool things with the FileMaker platform. But one thing about FM Starting Point, my rule is that it has to be easily understood by beginning users. And so we went out of our way to implement that kind of capability here. 
So you can actually click in here, say that this project is FileMaker 13 hardware installation is completed. You can click right here and it marks it as complete and done. I can also go over here at any time and click on this at risk or progress section right here and it pops a pop-up window that allows me to change the status of this project and change the percentage real easily right here. And of course this percentage here is what's reflected down here on the left side. So I can change it to anything I want. Looks good. I just click out and that has now been updated right here. So it's pretty slick. If you have uh, due dates, uh, dates and times, or completed dates and times, uh, it will fill those out automatically. Now if we still have days remaining, it will show us the days remaining right here. So that's pretty slick. Now there's an additional option here and it's something that you can play with if you're messing with FM starting point for your own project or business. And as we have this gear or preference icon right here, and this exposes an optional preference that we set up that we were wrestling a little bit with FM starting point. And uh, the issue is, is that we have this portal here and it basically gives us everything we need. But if you need finer controls, more precise controls about this task or to-do item, you can turn that on and then now you cannot click into fields. You cannot make edits right here. If you click right here, it brings up a pop-up window, which could be distracting, but it gives us precision controls and input on a particular task. And so uh, we can, of course, change this here. You saw this before, but it gives us notes here. And we can decide if this is attached to a specific asset align this precisely to staff or a, a particular contact. Anyway, that gives you a pretty good summary of the new project task to do capability that we've enhanced. Uh, to do is already part of FM starting point, but we've enhanced it with this improved interface, which once again, courtesy of Nick Hunter at FileMaker. And uh, under the hood, we've made it a little bit simpler to understand. Now, if you go to contacts, keep in mind that if you go to task to do's, you're going to get the same kind of interface. So we've actually taken the interface and implemented it in a couple different locations. So hopefully it gives you an idea of what we've done with FM Starting Point 4.5 for the FileMaker 14 platform. Once again, if you're still learning about these new capabilities that are part of FileMaker, I definitely recommend you check out our FileMaker Pro 14 video training course. We've had lots of reviews on it and people all think it's worth its weight in gold. We've worked hard to make it very entertaining and very animated so you learn as much as possible. So if you're trying to learn about the FileMaker platform, that's a great resource and it's really inexpensive. So this is Richard Carlton signing off and I'll catch you next week. Mm -hmm.